All right, it's 9.30 in the morning. Uh, last day of tour. Well, actually, it's not even on tour anymore because last night was the last show of tour. But I do have a meeting here in Austin, Texas with my buddy uh, Sasha Stone who runs Scoremore and he uh, manages Toy Lanes and Trill Sammy. And uh, he's become a pretty good friend of mine, so I'm going to meet up with him and some of his uh, employees over here just to sort of have a last minute meeting before I head back to LA. All right, so I forgot to film him, but another good meeting. It's cool, you know, I'm gonna be totally honest. I feel like now I actually have a manager, which is weird because like every rapper with like 2,000 followers has a manager. We're out here looking for Tom Dugan, professional BMX rider extraordinaire who wants to smoke our final doink of today with us. This guy, I ain't seen this guy in a minute. <laughs> We didn't plan that. What's up, bud? How you doing? What's up, dog? What the fuck is up? Yeah, you're blowing up. Good to see you, man. All our shit is back in this Volvo for the final ride home with this guy. Cue more random boring footage of Kim checking in at an airport. That's like all that we've been doing in these vlogs. And the more I go on tour, the more that this is gonna be all that these vlogs are. It's like, hey, look. Kim, and she's at a stupid thing, pressing buttons. It's gonna be the whole thing. For the record, the merch is along for the ride with me on this flight. It's the hardest shirt I've ever seen in my whole life. Pray in the place. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta <laughs> Google it or something. It's nice. You woke me up once again while I was sleeping. Once again, Tony has been singled out for interrogation. Tony decided to tell us now that he had a warrant in Texas the whole time and that he was really, really looking forward to getting back to the airport <laughs> made it. without getting arrested. Give me up, Texas. I so, probably owe you like $700. Wait, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. One moment. I'm always driving. And just like that, I'm back. Dude, the vlog is working out. Uh, so, <laughs> I was pretty good on tour about eating good. I didn't exercise at all, obviously. I don't even know if the hotels we were staying in had gyms, but we just did a little cardio mission. Yeah. Now we're headed upstairs. I gotta shave my head and, uh, you ooh, my present. You're getting yours tomorrow. No, but, uh, I don't want a present. Tough. Anyway, food, uh, yeah. stretching. Um, showering, shaving my head, 
uh, intercourse. Ooh. Please. 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 I told her, don't film me while I open your present, and then I opened it. Aww, look how adorable this is. Limited edition anniversary, Lemon oh, the Plug, Adam 22, God. sticker pack. <laughs> I can't believe you used the fucking Adolf Hitler picture. <laughs> oh my God. Well, look at me, I look like Charlie Chaplin or... Oh, I told Leilani I, I wanted her to draw me eating your ass, and then oh, this is what she came back God. with. So, <laughs> so I'm happy you still. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you, Lena the Plug, for a very wonderful one year. Uh, All right, so here I am, back at the house, wearing my incendiary shirt. Um, so I just wanted to summarize uh, that little trip that we were on. So I know I mentioned this a few times, but I figured I'd just sort of wrap it all up. My idea for what I really want to accomplish with No Jumper, aside from just the interviews, is I want to develop an additional content series, and there's a bunch of different types of content series is that I want to develop for No Jumper, but this one in particular, where we go on tour, we go and do something dope with a rapper or somebody else who's in the culture, and we sort of, instead of just doing an interview where we sit down and just talk, instead we go out into the world and actually live it, and then do sort of interviews to go along with it, and put along with that footage that we get, and I feel like, this is kind of like a different challenge for me in the in a storytelling sense, uh, especially because I need a videographer when I do it. I can't do it all myself. So, you know, having even just one person, it's different. It's like a, a different pace to get used to. It's just a different format. So it was really dope to be out with Maloof because Maloof, Tony Maloof for the record, this is his at, um, he's like a dude that I trust so much. I've had him do a lot of different BMX video projects for me over the years. He's done a lot of other people's projects and he's just like unbelievably talented and we have a really good friendship and relationship. So he was like a totally ideal person to work with on this one. And I kind of just know that I, I knew that even if we didn't get everything that we wanted in terms of footage, that he would still be able to pull it off. I definitely learned some lessons. Number one of which being that I really should have had more of a focus on being with the dudes the whole time because like in particular the first two days were kind of wasted from Tony's perspective because we did have that one show but other than that you know then we had the off day and everything I, w I would have planned it out a little bit better in retrospect and I wouldn't have just taken it for granted that we were just going to be able to be around whoever the whole time because like with Maxo we just kind of did a bad job of sort of like wrangling him so it took kind of till the very end that we were able to get that interview but we did get enough dope footage that I think that we're going to be able to pull together something really sick. So, you know, it was just a really fun uh, learning experience. And I think that from my newfound attempting to be healthy perspective, it was good. You know, I ate pretty good on the road. Uh, I didn't do any drugs or anything. I didn't drink at all. So that was nice. Oh, well, I say I didn't do drugs. I mean, I drank lean one night. But, you know, whatever. I was in Texas. That doesn't count as anything. Actually, lean is very bad and dangerous. So don't do that. But, uh... Yeah, it was a good tour. I think that, you know, I just got distracted by a text from somebody that said DJ Envy LOL. And I think I saw something about that on Twitter earlier. Something happened with DJ Envy, but I don't know what. I met him before, actually. I shook his hand one time. Not, not that that means anything. Anyway, very, very important on tour to stay hydrated, to eat good, as good as possible. You know, when you're going to IHOP and everything... It's not a million healthy things on the menu, but you can do what you can. You know, got to get those eggs in either way. Uh, I got a personal training session tomorrow, so I'm going to be getting right back into the swing of things. Uh, thank you very, very much to everybody who watched this. Uh, shout out to DJ Envy. I don't know what happened to him yet, so, you know, up until now, I could be supportive. I hope he didn't kill anybody. Anyway, peace. So first off, shout out to DJ Envy. I personally never took anything in the ass, never really felt the need to like, you know, have anything blasted up there. But I respect a guy who's willing to go out on a limb for a good time. So shout out to DJ Envy. Whatever you want to do with your time, fuck it, man. Just have a good time. Who gives a shit? And also, I just want to say, just because you want a woman to do something to your butthole doesn't make you gay. So keep that in mind, too. Just because a guy is into stuff with his booty hole doesn't necessarily mean he's gay. Anyway, peace.